Hey everyone, here's another story. My 26F wife caller M cheated on me, 27M, with a friend of mine. But before we start please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on notifications to receive alerts for future content. So, my 26F wife caller M cheated on me, 27M, with a friend of mine, 27M, call MJ for the story's sake. A bit of backstory. We met when I was 22 at another friend's wedding, she was a good friend of the bride and I the groom and they sat us at that table so we would get together. When I first seen her, I was completely taken back by how beautiful she was and when she sat down, and we began to talk we found out we had a lot of things in common we clicked instantly. We talked for a while ate the dinner and took to the dance floor. We danced and drank through the night we ended up kissing in the middle of the dance floor and when we pulled away our friends, the bride and groom, came up to us and asked what was up between us, though we're really excited to play matchmaker, we just shrugged it off and carried on with our night. We left not exchanging numbers but about a week later I got a text from her asking me out, bride gave her my number, I of course said yes, and it turned into a relationship. The relationship was great other than small arguments we never really fought, and it was never anything really serious I eventually asked her to marry me about two years into us dating and we were married less than a year later. We were married for a little more than a year when it all came crashing down on me. Just before our first anniversary there were little things that were irritating me, she became more guarded of her phone, girls nights became more frequent, and our sex life was almost non-existent. I had brought this up on multiple occasions but was brushed off and that I'm letting my insecurities get to me. She would continue go on as if what I felt and tried to communicate didn't matter to her, so I became colder and colder. I stopped giving her a goodbye kiss as I leave for work and unless it was something important, we hardly spoke. One night while she slept, I took her phone and laptop and skimmed though her texts, emails and messenger apps and found nothing. And from reading stories on here I checked her car. I grabbed her keys and looked in her car and found a second phone I knew in that instant what was going on, but I wanted all the evidence for when I call her out, I didn't want her to say something like it had only happened once or anything stupid like that. I looked through the phone and found only one number I read though every message I connected the phone to my computer and printed out every message and every photo and spent the night researching divorce lawyers. I spent hours of my day in my at-home office reading bios of lawyers and found one that I liked and emailed him but as it was a Saturday, he wasn't in the office I then wanted to know who the guy was so I grabbed my phone typed the number I wanted to call and pretend I'm Spectrum because who doesn't have Spectrum but Jay's contact popped up. It took me a minute to put two and two together but when I did, I blew up. I was yelling and cursing in my office and my wife opened the door to check on me but when I see her, I told her to get the F out. She closed the door and went to our room I had never cursed at my wife or raised my voice above a normal volume. All of day I never left my office I was just silently raging just glaring at the wall. I called one of my friends, groom from the wedding, and tell him I need to go for a drink and asks if he'll come with me, he must have heard something in my voice because he asked if I was okay, I told him I wasn't and I really need to drink. So, without word I took all the printouts and left to go to the bar. I arrived first ordered 4 shots of Jack and a beer I was on my last shot when my friend, Colin T, arrived and asked what's going on I told him straight out M's cheating, he gave me sympathy and I asked if he wanted to know with who and told him it was Jay, he became visibly irritated he was the one that introduced me to Jay and all he could say was I'm sorry over and over. Jay and I were never super close we wouldn't ask one another to hang out but if we see each other at a get together we were friendly. I told T don't mention this to anyone as I had just found out and I haven't even spoken to M or a lawyer yet. I asked him not to tell his wife and if she asked what was wrong with me to say I'm having problems at work he agreed. We drank and talked for most of the night then I called an Uber and went home around 3am it was the first time I looked at my phone since I called T and there was missed calls a bunch of texts all from M asking me where I was when I'd be home and if I was okay. I got home and she was asleep on the couch I just walked up to our bedroom and went to sleep. I woke up with her in the bed, so I got dressed and left the house. I went to go pick up my car and go to my office and buried myself in work for the day and went back home around 10 pm. To my surprise my wife was there to greet me, and she told me she had made me dinner she asked if I wanted her to heat it up, I told her no and went to bed. She followed soon after asking what's been wrong with me, I told her to leave me alone and that I wanted to sleep. 
She kept pestering me eventually, I snapped, and yell him stop I am trying to sleep go away. The next morning, I received an email from the lawyer asking to meet later in the day and I confirmed and got ready for my day. I went downstairs to leave, and M had made breakfast asking to talk I made a small plate and sat down she started by saying I've been acting different and going on and on about how I changed, and she wants to know why I told her work has been stressful and soon it would be all over. I finished up and told her I've got to go I went to my office and counted down the minutes to go meet the lawyer. When I left, I told my assistant I'm going out to lunch with a client, my wife would call my work sometimes, and left. The meeting with the lawyer went well and I handed over all I had gathered on her and the lawyer had told me well I'm sorry for all that's going on but I'm happy you gathered all this information you see we live in an at fault state, so your wife has no claim on most of your money, I told him I didn't even think about that I was just thinking I've got to divorce her as soon as possible. He asked to keep the evidence, but I told him I'd prefer you to just make copies as I haven't told my wife I knew yet and I don't want to hear her excuses he agreed and had his assistant make copies I asked when she will be served with papers, he told me about two weeks I then thanked him and left. I went home to confront my wife when I arrived, she wasn't home, so I called her no answer called again no answer I texted her I don't give af if you're writing J right now get home we need to talk low and behold she calls me not a minute later asking what I was talking about all I told her was get home now. She arrives about 15 minutes later and I said to her wow look at that 15 minutes that's about the same distance between here and Jay's isn't it she looked at me dumbfounded I gave her a minute to gather herself but she was just looking at me and I said well nothing to say. She tried to deny and gaslight me and I let her continue on she worked herself up and started to insult me. I slammed my fist on the table to shut her up and pulled out the evidence at first and showed it from the side and said look at this mountain of things I gathered on you then I showed her each printout at a time she then tells me to stop and started to cry she tried to apologize and tells me she loved me I said honey what happened to that energy you had before? You were so adamant on degrading and insulting me just a minute ago. She tried to hung me and tell me how sorry she is I put my hand out and told her don't touch me she says well go to the bedroom and do whatever I like I looked her deep in her eyes and told her sweetheart I will never touch you again do you want to know who else has these photos and messages my lawyer I'm divorcing you now get a bag gather your clothes and get the f out of my house. That was three days ago and I haven't heard from her. I'm sorry about how long this is and if there are any spelling errors. I'm curious to those have been where I'm and what can I expect from here. Thank you for reading. Update. Hello all let me first thank all who commented or messaged me I truly appreciate the praise and advice you all given. I've tried to keep up with the comments so if I didn't answer yours, I'm sorry. I hope I answer more of the common questions you all have asked in this update. If you haven't read the first part go to my page, it's still there. After I posted the first part of this you all have given me a ton of advice, so I followed most of it. This morning I planned on doing a bit of damage control of my life, so I scheduled an appointment with my doctor to get checked for STDs and I have that appointment in two days. Next, I started contacting all the people close to me my father and a few friends. They all have been really supportive offering their own advice and asking if I need help with anything but as I got this sh asterisk asterisk on lock I declined. I then started to contact her family, I sent a text to her mom and dad thanking them for allowing me into their family and that I was grateful for all that they had done for me, but Emma and I are getting divorced and that I would miss them terribly, not really, they were very suffocating and while they are great people I'm happy I no longer have to deal with it, I then told them if they had any questions feel free to ask. I didn't hear back from them for a while so I moved on to Em's sister, this kind of hurt because her sister and I were good friends, and I knew this would mess up that friendship. I texted her hey I'm sorry to have to text you this but Em and I are going to get a divorce and I wanted you to know. I want to thank you from day one you accepted me as a brother I will be around if you ever need anything from me. Around the time I sent that text her parents responded back, I'll type up how the conversation went. P. Parents we are so sorry to hear this what happened why hasn't Em said anything to us? Me, M has been in at least a year long affair, I suspect it started before our wedding. I'm unsure why she hasn't reached out, but I think you should call her she left the house, I figured she would have gone to you. P, no, we haven't heard from her we'll call her thanks for letting us know. Are you sure she was having an affair? Me, I am positive, I found their texts. 
P, we're so sorry that she did that while try and get in touch with her. After dealing with your family, I moved on to Jay's fiancé, I can't remember if I told you all that he is engaged in the first part one no it was brought up in some of the comments. I thought this was going to be difficult that M and J would have conspired some master plan but either M didn't tell him I found out or they're just idiots. I sent her a text around 2 p.m. and asked if we could meet for a coffee or something by 2.05 she agreed and told me to meet her at some gross hipster coffee shot across from her work at 2.30. I arrived first ordered my horrible coffee and waited for a few minutes, she walked in ordered hers and came and joined me. I told her, there's no easy way to say what I'm about to tell you so I'm just going to blurt it out Jay has been cheating on you with my wife it's been going on for more than a year. She was obviously shocked so I then told her I only found out a few days ago I know I should have told you then, but I had a divorce to get started and my own pity to deal with. She asked how I found out I told her everything that's in the first post I then asked if she wanted to see the evidence I gathered and pulled out a binder. She grabbed the binder and skimmed through the messages and pictures and just started to silently cry. I told her she's more than welcome to take the binder, extra copies, if she wanted to confront Jay with it or use it to see if he would lie. She thanked me stood up took the binder and I told her if she needs anything from me to let me know she nodded her head and walked out looking very defeated. I know you all told me to just stay sober keep a level head and what not, but my world just came crashing down on my head. I'm going to take this week to sit on my back porch drink, smoke cigars and blare music. After this week I'll stop feeling sorry for myself, get back to my usual schedule. On a more positive note, I've already packed up most of her things clothes, jewelry, etch I also threw in our wedding book and every photo that has her in it in the boxes. If and when she comes back for her stuff, I don't want her here any longer than she needs to be also before you ask no I didn't ruin her clothes other than a few picture frames nothing's broken. As of right now there's nothing else happening, I told everyone I needed to tell, my doctor's appointment is scheduled, my lawyer's hard at work to get me out of this nonsense and 90% of her things are in boxes, I really don't know what's left if she stays out of my hair this might be the smoothest divorce ever. Thank you for reading, advice is always appreciated.